Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. Alright, I've been flashing ROMs at least for the last 10 years, at least 10 years, and there is barely a ROM which I don't know of. So, Aquary OS is a brand new ROM. I don't know anything about it. I've not seen their, you know, XG forum page because they don't have one. I've not seen a review of it. So, this is the first time I'm going to experience it. So, we're going to install it. We will look at the features and we will see what is so different about this particular ROM. It is just another ROM which is based off one of like Lineage OS or Red Unicorns base. Without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. Let's go ahead and install this brand new ROM on the OnePlus 5T. Hello awesome people, welcome to the channel and another day, another video about the OnePlus 5T. Today we will go ahead and install Aquary OS or at least that is the name of the ROM. Are we gonna boot into TWRP? Yes, we're gonna boot into TWRP. We've backed everything up like a good sweet boy. We've made sure that there is 50% battery. Come on guys, I don't really want you guys to break your devices. Like I'm taking that risk. Like I, I really want to kill my OnePlus 5T. I'm, I'm trying my best like to to kill it because like I flash every day like five ROMs and it still doesn't die. Not exactly. I love my phone. All right. So we're on Lineage OS 15 and this is TWRP. So usual drill, wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik cache system data. We won't wipe internal storage and install. We will select the firmware and Aquary OS wipe to install so this is probably a new rom for me i do i don't know you guys might have heard about it i really don't know what the features are i've not seen their google plus page i have not seen their um, what do you call xga developers page guess why well because they don't have one question for you guys do you guys want to see videos about the one plus one maybe i have that phone might as well make some good use to it I have the BlackBerry uh, Q10 as well, yeah. So there are a few phones and I want to make videos about those phones but I really want to know from you guys and I've been asking you guys again and again and again what different do you want to see because everybody makes a YouTube channel, everybody does that. Oh wow, okay, I like that boot animation, it's something different, something that is not minimalistic, okay. That's a beautiful boot animation at least. Uh, let's see how the ROM is. So there we have it guys. Aquary OS has booted up. The first boot is complete. We've not installed Google Apps because hey, I'm not gonna you know, stay with this ROM for a long time. Now my first concern, uh, let me just increase the brightness for you guys there. Okay, all right. Uh, what is this? Running services, okay, something different uh okay let's go to settings okay let me just first check is why vo if voiceover lt is working or not we will call 198 using geo okay so looks like just like lineage os 15 this rom doesn't have voiceover lt which is a sad sad news because i really like the initial looks um home screen is pretty much empty so what do you have? You just have camera and a bunch of apps, uh, wallpapers and stuff. The camera works. I've tried the front and rear camera. We will cover the camera quality in in the full review basically. Um, let's just go to settings. Okay, we have something called as Coral Reef Aquary OS. Looks like this ROM was built for Aquaman. All right. Anyways, uh, no offense there. Um, so. Okay, this is something very similar to Dirty Unicorns. Probably it is based off Dirty Unicorns. I don't really know. Um, okay, yeah. So you can customize the power menu. You have advanced reboot, screenshot, airplane mode, and lock screen visibility. All right, so this customization menu looks the same, but then again, it is not the same. There are a few subtle changes here and there. Let me just... My camera just keeps messing up the brightness for some reason. It's okay. it's okay yeah so navigation bar i'm sure they will have playing they do stock settings stock usp navigation so this is the same 
this is like like dirty unicorn um it's just a you know deal breaker for me to not have voice over lte so volume rocker you can customize the volume rockers there and let's see what else we have we have lock screen fingerprint preferences no extra features yet. so this is a placeholder and this looks like the substantum uh guy fat one all right <laughs> lock screen display um charging info visualizer yeah everything is good okay weather options you can show weather you can disable weather stuff like that uh we have status bar we have battery options battery bar so actually uh the menus are like dirty unicorns but then again a lot of features are still missing probably that's the reason they have not released it traffic indicators are not working yet uh i got a forced close when i tried to make a call using my voice over lte sim so probably this rom is something you might want to stay away from at least till the time they are completely stable and come out with the official release so this is another customization option and notification you have heads up like heads up led notifications and we have general notification so again it's like pretty empty load of things are empty so you can customize recents okay then you have gestures miscellaneous not much and change log wow they have a lot of change log and this is a build date 21st of january so again a pretty pretty active group the rom should be in a good shape maybe in a month's time at the most so they should have at least four builds if, if we if they're working on a weekly schedule uh you know what, what what i want to do here i want to go to network and internet and I don't know why why is it so difficult I mean I know you guys are trying really really hard but just include voice over LTE there you go there's no voice over LTE in this particular ROM so my thinking my impressions well it looks like a very very promising ROM from the boot animation to the way they have named coral reef in settings it looks like a very promising ROM although it is 80% same to all the other custom ROMs and I don't really see much of a difference here. So two complaints and two requests to all the beautiful developers out there who are, you know, porting ROMs and developing ROMs for Dumpling or our beloved OnePlus 5T. Please, please give us voice over LTE and double tap to wake. Yes, I know the camera cannot be fixed so soon. But then again, what I'm requesting you guys are two basic necessities. I mean, yeah, double tap to wake is fine. But then again, that's a stock feature. Why would you remove something that a stock firmware already has? So just give us at least double tap to wake and voice over LTE and we will be happy campers. We can test the ROMs for you and we would love to give you feedback. You know, just you guys are doing a brilliant job. Like hats off to you guys. So. Thank you very much for your time guys this was aquary os for you if you like the video like share and subscribe and that redmi 5a is waiting to be taken away let's reach 4000 subscribers fast and thank you for your time once again keep smiling and take care i'll see you in the next one goodbye